The demand for dairy in Kenya has risen due to population growth, urbanization, and diet changes. Milk, cheese, and yogurt are now common for their taste and health benefits, including calcium, protein, and vitamins. Awareness of balanced diets is rising, leading to increased dairy consumption, especially among kids, pregnant women, and the elderly. The dairy industry is crucial to Kenya's economy, creating jobs, especially in rural areas where dairy farming is common. Meeting the growing demand is essential. This video will guide you on how to start a profitable dairy farm in Kenya, step by step. Like, comment, and subscribe for timely farming tips. What are the factors to consider for a successful dairy farm? They include maintaining healthy cattle by ensuring regular veterinary care and vaccinations. Providing quality feed and nutrition is crucial for optimal milk production and cattle's health. Proper housing and facilities are needed to protect cattle from extreme weather and ensure their comfort. Effective herd management involves regular monitoring and breeding programs to maintain productivity. Employing skilled labor ensures that tasks are performed efficiently and problems are addressed promptly. Maintaining hygiene and milk quality control is essential to prevent contamination and ensure safe, high-quality dairy products. Good financial management helps in budgeting, controlling costs, and maximizing profits. Establishing strong marketing and distribution strategies is vital for reaching consumers and ensuring a steady market for dairy products. Lastly, committing to continuous learning and adaptation keeps the farm updated with the latest industry practices and technologies, ensuring long-term success. Planning your dairy farm? Land and location. Picking the right land is key to your dairy farm's success. Consider these factors. 1. Water availability. Make sure animals have reliable sources. Enough water is crucial for health and pasture growth. 2. Test the soil to check its quality. The tests will look at its fertility and if it is suitable for pasture. Good soil has drainage and nutrients. It's ideal for growing nutritious cattle fodder. 3. Climate and weather patterns. Choose land that is good for dairy farming. It should minimize the risk of extreme weather. 4. Accessibility. Good transportation infrastructure reduces logistical challenges and operating costs. 5. Size and topography. Choose land with gentle slopes. It should have minimal erosion risk. This will help pasture management and prevent soil degradation. 6. Proximity to the market, being close to cities or dairy processors can cut shipping costs. It can also improve your market access. Business Plan Creating a strong business plan is crucial for your dairy farm. It guides the strategy and ensures long-term success. Your business plan should include the following components. 1. Goals and Objectives 2. Budget and financial projections. 3. Target market analysis. 4. Marketing and sales strategy. 5. Risk management plan. Permits and regulations. Before you start your dairy farm, know and follow the needed permits and rules. They cover dairy farming in Kenya. Consider the following steps. 1. Research the rules. Learn the laws, regulations, and licensing requirements for dairy farming in Kenya. Consult government agencies such as the Kenya Dairy Board for guidance. 2. Get the needed permits and licenses for starting a dairy farm. This includes land use, environmental, and livestock movement permits. 3. Comply with health and safety standards. Ensure compliance with health and safety standards for dairy farming. 
This includes proper sanitation, animal welfare, and waste management. 4. Stay informed, attend workshops, seminars, or training programs. These are offered by agricultural extension services or industry associations. They cover best practices and compliance requirements. Choosing your cows. Kenya is home to several common dairy cow breeds. Each has unique traits suited to different farming contexts. 1. Frisian. In Kenya, Holstein Frisian cattle are adapted to local conditions. They make a good amount of milk in the highlands. They are crossed with local breeds to create dual-purpose cows for different areas. Farmers in Kenya raise Holstein Frisians in different systems. They choose systems to fit their resources and environment. 2. Ayrshire These cattle rank second in Kenya's dairy breeds. They thrive in areas with medium to high rainfall. Additionally, they do well in both zero grazing and free-range systems. Ayrshire cattle are known for their toughness. They efficiently convert feed and easily adapt to different climates and diseases. 3. Jersey the Jersey cattle breed is Kenya's third most popular exotic dairy breed. It was introduced in 1920 and is mainly found in Nairobi, the coast, Kiambu, and Nakuru. These cattle are perfect for small farms. They are often bred with local breeds for better results. Jerseys are resilient, adaptable, and produce nutrient-rich milk. Also, they eat efficiently and don't harm themselves while producing milk. How to choose good dairy cows When selecting dairy cow breeds for Kenyan small holder farms, consider the following factors. 1. Milk production history. Look for cows with a strong milk production background. This should be supported by their family records. Two. Choose a cow with a wide, firm, medium-sized udder. Its teats should point down and be spaced evenly. 3. Legs and feet. Choose cows with strong, well-spaced legs and feet. They provide support and ensure comfort during pregnancy. Look for straight legs wide apart and slightly curved rear legs. 4. Body composition, choose dairy cows with a lean, wedge-shaped body. They are efficient at converting feed to milk. Check for long necks and straight back lines. 5. Reproductive health, pick cows from families with a history of easy pregnancy. Also, they have an easy time birthing. 6. Consider behavior, look at the cow's temperament. Calm cows are easier to handle and milk. This helps with smooth milking and management. Do you start small or start big? When starting a business, such as a dairy farm, the decision to start small or big depends on many factors. Each choice has its benefits and drawbacks. Starting small. What are the advantages? One lower initial investment, 2. Easier to manage, 3. Flexibility, 4. Lower risk. What are the disadvantages? 1. Limited growth potentials, 2. Limited resources, 3. Small businesses may have less brand recognition. They also have less market visibility than larger competitors, 4. Reduced economies of scale. Starting big. What are the advantages? 1. Greater growth potential. Big ventures can expand quickly and dominate markets. 2. Larger operations are more cost efficient. They have lower costs per unit. This is due to efficient production, purchasing, and distribution. 3. Enhanced market influence, big businesses are more recognizable. 
They're also more influential, attracting customers and partners. For abundant resources, larger ventures have more access to capital, talent, and technology. What are the disadvantages? 1. Big start, big risk. Huge investments mean bigger risk if the business fails. 2. Advanced management. Large ventures need complex organizational structures and systems. 3. Limited flexibility. Big businesses may struggle to adjust to market changes quickly. 4. Expectations rise with more investment. They come from investors and customers, adding pressure to succeed. Building a healthy herd. Maintaining animal health is essential for the success of your dairy farm. Follow these guidelines to ensure a healthy herd. Provide a balanced diet. It should be rich in nutrients such as protein, carbs, vitamins, and minerals. This diet supports optimal growth, reproduction, and milk production. Implement a comprehensive vaccination program to protect your herd against common diseases. Adopt good breeding strategies. They will improve your herd's genes over time. Veterinary Care Regular veterinary checkups and vaccinations are important for dairy cows' health and well-being. Here's why. 1. Checkups help detect health issues early, preventing serious problems, diseases, and costly treatments. 2. Vet checkups find and treat illnesses promptly, stopping disease spread. 3. Vaccines prevent common diseases. They include BVD, IBR, and leptospirosis. Vaccines boost immunity and stop outbreaks. 4. Checkups monitor fertility, detect disorders, and guide breeding practices for optimal success. 5. Vets ensure cows get a balanced diet for health, productivity, and milk production. 6. Checkups help farmers create custom health plans for herds. Plans cover biosecurity and disease prevention. 7. Many places require regular vet checkups. They also need vaccinations. Dairy farms must follow these rules to meet animal welfare regulations. How do you maximize your profits? Boosting dairy farm profits involves several strategies. These include excellent record keeping, effective marketing, and the use of value added products. Record keeping Effective dairy farm management relies on thorough record keeping. This includes tracking milk production, expenses, and cow health. It helps you make informed decisions and improve efficiency and profits. Marketing your milk. You must understand local markets. You must identify potential ways to sell your milk. This is key for making the most money and reaching target consumers. Consider the following strategies for marketing your milk. 1. Market research. 2. Direct sales. 3. Value-added products. 4. Challenges and sustainability. Value-added products. 1. Diversify your products. Look for chances to make dairy items that add value. These include cheese, yogurt, butter, ice cream, and flavored milk. Value-added products often fetch higher prices. They can increase profits by using surplus milk or by appealing to niche markets. 2. Market research. Do market research to find what consumers prefer and what they might buy. Look for trends and demand for specific dairy products in your market. Tailor your product offerings to meet consumer needs and differentiate yourself from competitors. 3. Branding and marketing. Develop a strong brand and marketing plan. It will promote your value-added dairy products well. Highlight the unique qualities, flavors, and benefits of your products.
This will attract consumers and build brand loyalty. To start a profitable dairy farm, plan carefully. Create a business plan outlining goals, budget, market analysis, and production strategies. Choose high-quality dairy cows with robust genetics for productivity. Set up suitable facilities for housing, feeding, milking, and waste management. Provide a balanced nutrition program for cow health and milk production. Maintain health care protocols for animal well-being. Keep accurate records for effective management and develop a strong marketing strategy for product sales. Dairy farming requires significant financial investment and daily labor, and market changes can affect profitability. Despite challenges, it can be profitable, fulfilling, and vital for food security. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and insights.